What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I am a lifestyle vlogger here on the tube. I strive to make videos that can help you guys out in some way, shape, or form. And if you guys are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a beat on my channel. I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that even though I am making this video about single military pay for National Guard soldiers, I actually am currently active duty for the National Guard, so I am getting paid on the 1st and the 15th of the month. Therefore, my LESs do not reflect the same way that a regular National Guard M-Day soldier would get paid. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that you will never see one of my LESs on my channel. And if you want to know why, I do have another video, which I'll link up here, that kind of goes into a mini rant about why I don't really agree with the whole showing your LES on the tube situation. Like, that's just... It ain't my cup of tea, so we ain't gonna do it here. Uh, the other thing that I want to let you guys in on is that everybody's paycheck is slightly different depending on certain factors. So let's jump into this video. All right, so as a National Guard soldier on your drill weekends, you will be getting paid in the form of a muta. But essentially, uh, when I first joined the Guard, I was making around $243 a month and that was with the maximum amount of taxes taken out of my paycheck along with the extras that come along with that. If you guys want to see a video that explains what each section of your LES, which stands for a leave and earning statement, if you want to see what each section is and understand what that means, give this video a thumbs up and I'll go ahead and create that for you guys. But for now, I'm just going to talk about it as if you guys kind of already know what's going on with it. So you're going to be getting paid according to your rank, your years of service, your tax withholdings obviously come out and that is based upon what you put on your forms. And then if there's any additional things that you have coming out of your paycheck, I mean, even if you are a single soldier, you could have things like child support, et cetera. It just depends. Like there's other things that can come out of your paycheck. Now, one thing that I've never really heard discussed on here is when National Guard soldiers actually get paid. When you go to a drill weekend, it's usually going to be your readiness NCO or uh, whoever is a full-timer at your unit who does the pay processing and the coding for that. There's all sorts of different codes for the National Guard and these codes explain whether you were present for drill. There's a code for a half day, there's a code for being there one day, there's codes for being AWOL, there's a million different codes and this is how uh, MilPay is going to know how to process your payment. So. As long as everything goes according to plan and your person that works full time at your unit is doing their job correctly, you should be getting paid within a week to a week and a half after drill. The longest that I ever went was like a week and a half. Like usually I would get done with drill, go a full week, and then at least have some sort of paycheck in my bank account by the next Wednesday. So. It was like you blink and you're already getting paid. It definitely is not something that like you go to drill and you have a paycheck the same day, so don't expect that. But also if you ever have your pay come up incorrectly, before you go and tell your unit, hey, my pay's effed up, I need you to fix it, make sure that you get on my pay, log in, and get at least three copies of your prior LESs because they're going to need that information in order to look up what the fuck is going wrong with your pay. And having the wrong pay is a major, major, major soldier care issue for National Guard service members because in the National Guard is totally different. This isn't your full-time job. Uh, if, if one soldier doesn't get paid, that could literally break their life. Some soldiers depend on that one paycheck to pay certain bills, or that is the only paycheck that they get. So it is important that the pay 
thing is handled correctly. You also may be having health insurance come out of this paycheck. That is for a whole nother video when it comes to TRICARE, but single soldiers only have to pay like $47 a month for TRICARE, so it's a really good deal and that's another thing that might have to come out of your Drill Weekend paycheck. There's also other ways that you can make money in the guard and I want to do a whole entire video separately for each one of these, but just for this video alone, I want you guys to understand that if you are planning on becoming an officer and you're in college, you can actually do the SMP, SMP. You can actually do the SMP program, simultaneous membership program. I had to say this in my head. It's so weird. That's my initials. So uh, yeah, you can make like a thousand dollars or more a month being an SMP cadet. And that's because there's scholarships attached to it. You literally get like a paycheck from being a student and being in the National Guard as well as doing ROTC, which please believe it's a lot of work. Uh, so you earn, you earn that coin. You also can make money if you, even if you choose not to do this, or if you do choose to do this, you can make money from your GI Bill, which usually ends up being about $300 a month, depending on what you've completed. In order to receive your GI Bill, you do have to complete basic training in AIT. You also have to remember that each soldier is allowed there are a certain amount of days for annual training each year. So that's the two weeks out of the year that everyone talks about when they say National Guard soldiers, it's two, week, two days a month, two days a month, two weeks out of the year. That's what they're talking about. And you make like at the lowest rank, like $1,200 at annual training. So you make some coin there. And then if there is any way that you end up getting D DTS, which is the travel system that we use, that travel system you'll actually get reimbursed for like food and mileage, but nine times out of 10 your state is like budgeting hardcore and you're not gonna get that as an M-Day soldier uh, because it's a little unnecessary. Uh, annual training money and budgeting is, is accounted for at the beginning of the fiscal year, like every single freaking year. So there's literally, you're probably not gonna get that unless it was already accounted for in the budget. All right, so that pretty much sums up everything that there is for me to talk about on this subject. If you guys have any questions or if I talked about anything that you would like to see a more in-depth video, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And even if there's something that you don't wanna see, just make sure you leave a comment. It helps my channel out so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And like I said, if you're new and you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.